Hello guys, today I want to present to you another new course on Laravel Daily, another text-based course which is about Vue.js, Laravel and Vite. This is actually an updated older course about CRUD with SPA with Laravel and Vue.js, but that course was video, it was on Laravel 9 before Vite. So this one is text-based, so easier to consume in most cases and updated to the latest Laravel 10 and Vite features. So in this video, I will read and summarize the first few lessons for those of you who haven't started with Vue.js at all. So this course in general is about practical projects. So we will create some kind of CRUD similar to this one for managing posts. And this is the case where Vue.js is inside of Laravel project. There are multiple architectures how you can adopt Vue.js. So you can do Vue with API on Laravel and I have a few courses about that. You can have Laravel and then Vue only for smaller parts like dynamic dropdowns or something. Or you can do Laravel with authentication with SPA. So the pages wouldn't have the full refresh, but would refresh only the layer of the data when something is clicked. So this is exactly that SPA practical course, step-by-step -step we're creating that CRUD with stopping on some theory along the way. So this is my way of doing things. I don't stop on the syntax too much. I show how it works. If you care about more syntax options, you can always read the docs, but my goal is for you to understand how that works. So how to start with Vue.js in Laravel application. Here we go, the first few lessons. So first installing Laravel with Vue.js and I will not show how to install Laravel, but in this case we will also use Laravel Breeze for this project, but not for the authentication, but for the visual design with Tailwind CSS. And this is exactly what we're doing in this first lesson. So Compose will require Laravel Breeze, install the Blade version, not the Vue version, and then in the navigation we remove everything related to authenticated stuff. So we would have only the dashboard, which would be public for now. So this will be our dashboard and we'll remove everything related to auth. Then in the routes web, in the default Laravel routes web generated by Laravel Breeze, we also remove everything except for that view dashboard. And then we initialize the view. The Vue.js is initialized or mounted to one of the HTML elements in your main layout, for example, layouts app blade. So you assign some kind of ID app or ID whatever to one of your elements and then the Vue.js application will live inside of that div. So we've prepared the blade part, the Laravel, and now we need to install and configure Vue.js. First, we'll remove Alpine from the project which is generated by Laravel Breeze. We don't need that. And by the way, you don't have to use Laravel Breeze at all. It was just for visual layout. It's my personal preference to start with Breeze and then customize from that. So if you don't use Breeze, you wouldn't even have that Alpine, for example. Now installing the Vue, you actually install Vue and Vue Loader. Then you install Vue Vite plugin with npm install commands. And then you would have Vite config.js in the main Laravel folder where you need to import that Vite plugin and initialize Vue with this syntax. And then we need to create the first Vue component. Vue component is something that you would load inside of your Laravel Blade pages. For example, instead of you're logged in, you would have view component. Later in the course, it will be showing posts list. So we call that posts index. And this is how Vue.js would actually work. So it would load the first Laravel project with Blade and everything. And then this would be JavaScript with calling the server if there is an API call to get the data. The benefit of such approach is that you load the page faster and then separately the data could be loaded from the server if it takes some additional time. But for this first lesson we need to establish the whole architecture, how it works. So for now that Vue.js component will be just static text. So you create that component in for example resources.js components. That's your personal preference where to store those components. But I typically do that in the subfolder of components, then subfolder of what that component is about, and then index view, for example. And every view component consists of script and template. For now, we don't use anything dynamic. So we have only template with only static text. So for now, that view component doesn't do much. The goal for the first lesson is to load it successfully. So that ID app, we need to mount our Vue.js application to that ID app element. And we do that in the Laravel file of resources.js app.js, which is kind of a global app.js configurator for your Laravel project. 
we removed the Alpine. Again, it was installed by Laravel Breeze. And now we import the create app from view, from view core. Then we import our component. We assign the name to it, post index, for example. And then we create the app. So this is the view application. We load the component into it and we mount that application to the app that we had created. So this is where it all comes together. Application, our components, and mount to which HTML element. And now if we launch our page, we would see something like this. So Laravel Breeze design with static text table coming soon, but that text comes not immediately from Laravel, but a few moments later with Vue.js. Also kind of side note with Vite, this is pretty recent change in Laravel 9.19, they changed the default webpack to Vite. And in this course, you will find the link to both the video where I explain everything and then the guide of migration where you do want to use Webpack if you want to do that. Webpack still works. It's still good. It's just not the default option in Laravel anymore, but you can easily enable it again. So yeah, this is the first lesson, just the first lesson of that course. The full course is pretty huge with 22,000 words. In comparison, typical books are 60 to 80,000 words. So it's a pretty long one. Prepare for longer journey of creating that CRUD of posts with later authentication and authorization, so roles and permissions. And I see that course myself as kind of a core fundamental course where lessons are around the core things you need to know if you want to adopt Vue.js into Laravel. So I think I will update this course. Now it is in text form, so it will be easier for me to update if I get any questions, if I need to clarify something, if I need to point someone who is just starting with Vue.js, I can point to some lessons. So it's kind of like a reference course for beginners for Vue.js who have Laravel knowledge. The link to that course will be in the description below. It's part of Laravel Daily Premium Membership. So choose yearly or monthly if you want to access all that course and see you guys in other videos.